With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, this is our question. Let me explain it to you. Using the standard electrode potentials given, predict if the reaction between the following is feasible or not. Fe3 plus aqueous and iodide ions aqueous. Okay, so we are provided with the E0 data as well. So if we consider the very first reaction, Fe3 plus ions from the aqueous state are going to gain one electron and will be converted to Fe2 plus aqueous. For this reaction, E0 is plus 0.77 volt. The next reaction that we are having is that of the iodide ions are basically getting oxidized liberating iodine along with these two electrons right to balance this two iodide we will have the two iodide ions here okay two electrons so we have to multiply the first reaction with the two also so that it is electron exchanges balanced and e naught for the second reaction is minus 0.5 so we can see in the first reaction reduction is happening this is for the cathode and the second oxidation this reaction is for the anode so if we write the overall net reaction that is taking place that would be 2 fe3 plus aqueous plus 2 iodide ions aqueous are basically leading to 2 fe2 plus aqueous plus iod solid over here Right, so if we find the net E0 of the cell, that would be simply equal to that of the cathode 0 0.77 minus E0 of the anode, okay, plus basically we would be having E0 of anode that is minus 0 0.5. From here, the value of E0 of the cell comes out to be equal to plus 0 0.23 this is the net E0 of cell. So since the E0 of the cell is overall positive, so we can say that reaction between the two is feasible. So this reaction will take place. Okay, thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.